Good morning and welcome to another exciting video. So today I went to the Star Show in Eton. Now I'm sure you guys have remembered that this time last year, no actually I think it was the beginning of this year, I was invited there because they are style and colour experts with their own boutique in Eton and I had the best time there. They did like all my colours for me, like directional capes and they also did my mum's and Luckily my colours were the colours I was wearing so it was fine, but for mum, she wasn't necessarily picking the best colours for her. So since then, I will say that she's definitely transformed the way she shops. She's definitely a lot better at shopping and I definitely say to her a lot less, oh my god mum, go and take that back. <laughs> Which is good because that's what you want, you want to be able to have that ease of shopping without the stress. Because a lot of people, like I love shopping, but a lot of people find it really, really stressful and don't enjoy it because there's the whole fact of you bringing it home and it just doesn't look right or it doesn't work with your wardrobe which is one of the reasons that I love the star show because they take that out they just literally tell you what colors you should be wearing and take all of the guesswork out of shopping so I've been invited back again today with Chrissy which is the owner and she is so so nice I met her before she's uber uber glamorous she's just always immaculate I definitely don't always look immaculate <laughs> you, you guys on the vlog know that but she's really really nice she's got so much experience she's worked in so many different sectors of fashion which I really aspire to be because I really want to get into fashion as a job and I really want to get into the colour styling as a job so today is going to be a very very exciting day because getting a bit more insight a bit more information and also by the end of today's vlog Chrissy and I have decided we're going to do a little announcement because there's something super super exciting that I think you guys really need to know about because I don't know if I want to say anymore but it's very very exciting and I feel like everybody needs to know about it especially if you're from Norfolk or Norwich and you love fashion as much as I do so I'm now going to go and drive off to go meet Chrissy and keep you all updated so follow the vlog today I've gone for straight hair because it's raining and it's going to go straight anyway but Follow the vlog, we're going to have a great day, it's going to be lots of clothes, lots of fashion and an exciting announcement, so make sure you keep tuned right to the end. So it's just the fitting rooms, how cute. Really good mirror here. And another one there, for different lighting, because all girls need different lighting. Look at all the colour, look at all these scarves, oh my god. So many different colours. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this. Hello, so I am now at the Star Show and it is literally just as colourful as I remember. Everything is put into sections, I don't know if you can see me, I'm going to do a little walk around in a minute. But everything is put into colour sections so it's really, really easy to shop. Because I told you earlier that when I came with Mum, there were certain colours that really worked for her and certain colours that didn't work for her. And now she's finding it so much more easy to shop as I do. Like I pick the most brightest and bold colours. So I just kind of naturally home in on that. But if you don't naturally home in on it, it's so like easy and effortless to just be able to go right. Orange is my colour, blue is my colour and just find the sections that you're after. So I'm just going to quickly walk around and show you some bits that I've already picked out. I found the most amazing red jumper with a star on it that I literally am in love with. And then there's a, a brown fur gilet that's really, really cute. A dress that's really nice. A leopard print skirt. So yeah, I found lots of bits. And I'm going to just do a little walk around and show you everything that I found. This is all the greys and the cooler section, so I'd probably go for the brighter pink section, just because that colour is really, really complimentary on me. Um, grey is not such much of a good colour on me, but if you're um, a cooler colour, that would look great. Um, all these little hats, I love these little faux fur. I'm so happy that winter and autumn are now finally here, so you can wear more layers and textures. These are really, really nice, these little fur faux, faux fur gilets, can't speak today. Um, this is the skirt that I'm literally in love with. I'm going to style this up in a second. It's a pleated, ah, there we go. It's a pleated maxi skirt that's so beautiful. I love these because they flow in the wind. They literally make you feel like a princess. Look how much fabric is in that. It's so nice. So, so pretty. Look at that. I can team that with, I'd team up with like a jumper. Just for a cool laid back look. That's the faux fur GLA that I thought was really, really nice. They're really great like layering pieces, you can put that over the top of a jacket, over the top of a jumper, with a skirt looks great, like possibilities are endless, it's all about the capsule wardrobe. From this section is all the reds and blacks, I love red. This jacket's really really nice as well, it's like a suede fabric, 
really really lovely and such a vibrant red shade which is really really nice i think that a lot of people think that in the winter you can't wear color but i think it's even more important oh my god look at this this orange color someone told me once that redheads can't wear orange or red they were lying i love this as well this is so cozy can you imagine this like in a pub cozy walk it'd be so so nice and look at that roll neck one thing i haven't decided is how to style my um my short hair with a roll neck but i'm gonna by the end of the winter i'll learn how to do it and this shirt oh my god this screams me need more hands this is so nice and the fabric is like a silky fabric all different clashes of print color i've got to imagine this teamed with jeans even with that leopard print skirt would look really nice so nice length as well and i like the pocket as well it makes the prints clash as well love that and it's really really nice and fitted you could wear that tucked in or loose god love orange i've got so many ideas going around in my head right now then we've got the blues and the darker purples this one's really nice and again the put the um the faux fur scarf as well in the black shade then we've got some scarves oh i love this one this one's really nice obviously attracted to color and then this is the red jumper that i thought was really nice this would look so cute with that leopard print skirt that i showed you earlier we put them both together as you can see look how cute that would look with trainers would look really nice or obviously you could put it with jeans and then layer it up with another coat over the top or over faux fur scarf would look really nice or even with the leather trousers that would look really really cool then oh, i love this cardigan look at the color of this it's like so stunning like turquoise kind of it's a long line as well this would probably come to like ankle length for me which i like because it then slims the body oh this dress is nice too this is gonna be the longest walk around the shop you've ever seen love the patterns it's really boho really youthful chic love the pattern look at the colors in orange orange and turquoise is so so pretty then we've got the browns and the turquoises look at these mannequins she's got the shirt on that i showed you a bit in reds that's really nice isn't it teamed with a pleated skirt see we know then we've got the car keys and the oranges and the mustards i'm loving mustard at the moment it's one of my favorite colors uh, orange also is a great color and khaki and there's that scarf again it's always following me then we've got the mustards and the navies these are really good color combination look at these trousers they are they're screaming autumn okay so this is my first look i had tried on the really quirky shirt i think it looks so nice and i've put them with these freddy jeans if you haven't heard if you haven't heard of freddy jeans you need to go and try them they're literally a bra for your bum and they look amazing i've rolled up the bottom just because i like that that look because i'm sure and i think it looks quite cool and then i put it with my trainers but i love this shirt it's so silky so flattering i've tucked in one side just to make it a bit more a bit more i don't know trendy and <laughs> but you could obviously wear it open with leather trousers this would look really really nice with a faux fur gilet over the top also i've rolled the sleeves we'll put the sleeves like tied them up put the buttons through and then i've folded it back over itself just because it adds in a different texture and different colors i think it looks really 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 nice really young youthful tucked in shorts with a shirt like a t-shirt underneath and then have this open i think that would look really really nice look how cute it is and i love the back is different print as well so nice yep i like that a lot and the colors work really really well with my eyeshadow today it's like fate this is the next look. This is probably my favourite look so far. So I've gone for the red star jumper that I pointed out earlier. It's so nice, so soft. And that red is so bright. Love it. And then I put the leopard print maxi skirt with it. It's actually the perfect length to wear with trainers, which is exactly how I'd wear it. And it's really, really flattering because there's so much fabric. It kind of just sways in the wind. I think this looks so, so cute. Love. Oh my god, I'm in love look how fun that looks this would be a perfect look i'm off to paris in january this would be a perfect look for that cool warm cool as in trendy <laughs> warm and looking like you're really really fashionable i love that yep and i also like the black waistband because then that would look really nice if you put like a bodysuit or anything with it to kind of break up the body and look super super flattering 
I literally can't stop swishing. Okay, so this is the next look. This is quite grown up for me, but I actually really, really like it. And so it is a gold, goldy yellow silk blouse. Another maxi print, animal print, maxi animal print skirt. And then a faux leather suede jacket and then a faux fur gilet over the top. I actually really like this. What really drew me to the outfit first, well great the outfit first, was the yellowy orange, yellowy goldy shirt. But I think this looks so, so nice and so boho and perfect for autumn. And I love, this gilet is separate. I know that I'd get so much wear out of just this leather jacket. I think it's so nice. So cute. I love autumn and love the textures that you can all just put stuff together, transform it. And you need literally like three or four items in your wardrobe that are interchangeable and it just looks great. Whatever you put on, it's going to look amazing. Look at it. It's so pretty. And the texture of this is so, so dreamy. It's literally like having an animal. Just stroking it. I still want a dog. <laughs> and then for my last look, I've gone for this boho amazingness of a dress. So, so cute. I love the texture. And it's elasticated at the um, the wrists. So I've just pulled it up to my, an my, my ankle. That'd be a bit weird. Pulled it up to my elbow and then tucked it over itself. I think it kind of gives like a, a three quarter length, which is really flattering for my height. And then I've cinched it in with the rust colour belt because then it ties in with my hair colour and my eyeshadow for the day. And then I've gone for a cute pom-pom yellow mustard hat because just to add a little bit of colour and a little bit of quirkiness to the outfit. And I think it would keep my head really warm as well. Still trying to style out this short hair with roll necks and fluffy necks. We're going to be fine. We're going to do it. So cute, so young. Literally, I've styled it again with trainers, but obviously you could put it again with knee-high boots would look really lovely, ankle boots would look really lovely, and even converse, like, this could take you so many different ways. And again, you could put that faux fur jilly over the top would look really nice, just for cosy, casual, and walking around doing jobs. But it could look also really nice if you're going out for lunch. So these are the sort of items that you need in your wardrobe because they're just going to take you from day to night. Whatever event you've got, it's going to look amazing. And I also love that it's a full skirt so I can swish <laughs> so i just like to try this jumper on lastly because i really really like it and i love the color so one of the i just tried it on and i love the sleeves a lot of like oversized baggy jumpers the sleeves are then huge and then you have to roll them up it's really really just an inconvenience so i like they're fitted i think that's really nice it's you've got the, like the looseness and the bagginess of the jumper but then the sleeves are still tight and fitted and not going to irritate you i also like that it's kind of longer at the back and shorter at the front and I think it looks really nice with jeans and I've obviously kept the bubble hat because I think it looks really, really cute. This would look perfect for Halloween or any sort of cosy event. Imagine being curled up in the front of the fire with this on. You'd be like literally living your best life. I love it. Okay, so obviously you've just seen me try all my little items on. I'm in love with this jumper. I think it's really, really cute. Really like perfect this kind of weather. And I think I'm actually managing to style off a hat which is a whole new ball game. Still not sure about how to do my short hair, but eventually we'll learn. <laughs> I've had literally the best time. Had so many, like, tried so many new ideas. I think a lot of people think, because I'm a fashion blogger, that I kind of, I know, I know fashion. Obviously I know fashion, but it's nice to kind of push my boundaries. I'm very, very uber, uber colorful. I'm very vibrant with fashion. And it's sometimes nice to try new things, especially as someone else is gonna come and so, oh, try this and give this a go because not necessarily it's what I would have picked. Like that boho dress. I don't think I would ever pick that, but Chrissy picked it out for me and I was like, oh, actually, that's really nice. Not that I'd ever normally wear brown, but now I'd actually think about wearing brown. And that's why it's so important to come and have your colours done and to try these things because if not, you could be missing out on certain colours that are going to look amazing on you that you just think, oh, no. Like, a lot of people go, oh, no, I wore that colour when I was at school or that was my that colour always resonated with my mum or my nan or whatever. But it's really important to come have your colours done. So I'd recommend that to everybody. I will leave a link down below for everybody to go and have a look at the star show. And then, well now, I'm going to go home and I'm going to talk to you all about something really, 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 really exciting about the star show because they've got a really exciting new chapter that 
I want to tell you all about because I think you guys would really, 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 really be interested in it. Hello, so I am back home. I have my cup of tea. Mm, my cup of tea that is literally as big as my head. And my coziest orange jumper on because trying that orange jumper on earlier has really inspired me to put on orange today. So it looks good in my eyeshadow. Anyway, so now back and I'm very, very excited to talk to you about the exciting news to do with the Star Show. So, the Star Show are going to be opening the Star Show Academy. Oh my god, I know. So I have been looking into doing a course in London to do with fashion and Chrissy said to me, now Ali, just hang on because I've heard through the grapevine something very exciting is going to be happening here at the Star Show. And yes, it's very, very exciting because they're opening an academy. So it's going to be a five day course like it would be in London, but obviously in London you then have to factor in your staying arrangements, everything is so much more expensive in London and Norwich is like perfect because there are so so many places you can stay there is travel lodges down the road it's really really local for me so obviously I would have to pay any travel all of the stylists together have like 35 years worth of experience in the fashion industry so it's really really good you know you're gonna get good knowledge sometimes when you go to other colleges you don't really know what sort of information you're going to be given you kind of just hope that it's going to be the best and you're going to come away feeling like you have an all-rounded experience but I can guarantee that if you go to the Star Show Academy all of the ladies are so so friendly they have so much knowledge they all come from different aspects of fashion which I think is really really good because there's nothing worse than going on a training course and none of the trainers are actually still in fashion or a lot of trainers kind of are in fashion then go into training and then stay in training and don't kind of get the real world real world aspect of fashion they kind of just get set in their ways whereas all of the ladies at the style show are still working in the style show all still very very much into fashion knowing what ladies like knowing what ladies want and kind of getting the best from fashion of course it's gonna be five days it's 650 pounds which i think is an absolute bargain also compared to london because i've been looking at london courses and they're well over a thousand pounds and i don't think they'd kind of give you as much knowledge because the style show is going to be doing intimate at small groups so you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one kind of aspect a lot of the time when you're starting a new course you've got so many questions and sometimes it can feel really overwhelming especially in the fashion industry because like Norfolk is a little small little bubble and then you go to London and it's a huge huge pond so sometimes you've got questions and you feel really really scared to ask them because you feel stupid or silly whereas there's none of that like all the ladies are really really nice all really really friendly and because it's a small group you're going to feel less intimidated you're going to feel like you can ask these questions and a lot of the time I was literally that kid at school that asked a million questions about everything and wanted to know why things worked how things worked and then that started another question and the amount of times people would then come up to me afterwards and go oh my god I'm so glad you asked that because I didn't understand either which then makes me feel like a small intimate group is probably best especially if it's like a change in career because then you'll also feel less daunted less intimidated because it's intimidating you're taking a big step into the unknown you're trying something new you know you've got a flair for but it's knowing where to kind of take it so i've got a list of all the information about the course i'm just going to read it to you because it's really really interesting so during the course you get to know the foundation of style i've got my little list here so you've got the foundation of style which is what it takes to be a stylist the key elements of styling then there is understanding color and its relevance so the color theory color origin depth tone tint shade clarity and color psychology so all those things are really really important like i said or i say so many times on my blog i wear color because it makes me feel happy it makes me feel like me and other people wear black it's all about how color makes you feel and it has a massive impact on your mood you will not believe it like as soon as you see the color yellow everyone's happy there is a reason for that so that's really really important if you're going to be a stylist women's body shapes and how to dress them so like proportions scale fabric and line and the art of illusion so you all know the importance if you wear certain lines in fabric make you look slimmer like all those sorts of things that are really really important within styling then there is wardrobe management so outfit building wardrobe planning 
the essential wardrobes like capsule wardrobes then there is accessorising and organisation because I am the worst for that. My wardrobe is an absolute bomb site and I need to sort that out because I can never find what I want. I'm always on the rummage and it's really, really important to organise, especially as we're coming into different seasons to know where things are because I often look back at photos and I'm like, oh, I had that, I remember that, where is that? And I can never find it, so that would be really important for me. <laughs> style personality, so I touch on that a lot in my blog. So how style makes you feel and how you can project that my arm's aching how you can project that into the way you dress selling through stylings implementing styling in the retail environment sales technique and vocabulary so what words to be saying don't be like that color just isn't for you be like so this color would be better for you and these are the reasons x y and z it's all really important things if you're going to be a stylist to kind of know the language know the vocabulary and the words to use and then lastly is social media and web marketing so content layouts marketing all that kind of thing to make sure you have an online presence because as we all know online presence is really really important especially if you want to go solo and set up your own brand it's really important to kind of have that internet presence because a lot of us will have an idea in our heads and then have a look online because that's the safe option you're still at home you're still like behind your computer screen no one actually knows what you're looking at before then you can actually make the leap and a lot of people i think a start is so so important but it's also quite scary because you often go oh they look really nice and it's that whole compliment vibe isn't it like if someone says to you oh you look really nice you're always like yeah 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 thanks like you're always a bit shy and a bit nervous so obviously that's really really important but i think it's a great idea especially being in norwich because it's, it's less daunting than going to london it's a lot cheaper than going to london let's be honest london is very 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 expensive and i know that you've been great hands because there's kate she went to the nikki hamilton jones school of fashion then there's um colette who's done so much marketing for different brands then there is Chrissy, who's worked at Chapelfield, she's worked at different stores. And all of the ladies who are training at the Style Show have so much like knowledge and so much background. Whenever I go there, I feel like, I have, like I'm literally a sponge and I'm absorbing so much information. So who do we think this course is for? It's literally for anybody who has the slightest flair in fashion. So if you're a fashion influencer like myself, if you just love fashion and you want to kind of take that into the next leap... Um, maybe people say to you you have a great sense of style maybe you should go into fashion maybe this is kind of like the, the insight into fashion then there's like fashion retailers you're not keeping up with the trends it's really really important to kind of not get stuck in the era that you got trained in it's really important to always keep up to date keep up with the latest trends the latest like now social influencing is huge and having internet presence is huge so it's always really important to keep up to date so this course will be really good for you maybe if you just want to kind of get a bit more insight and insight into how to dress yourself i mean i take it for complete advantage that that i kind of dress myself and kind of know how and what looks good for me whereas other people kind of struggle with that kind of thing like i said previously if someone put me in all black i'd feel very very self-conscious i don't like wearing black i feel very very like everyone is staring at me and i do not like it so someone who loves black and feels like that is their comfort zone maybe wearing color and trying different lines trying different shapes would be really daunting so obviously this course would be great for you so literally this course would be good for anybody any Anybody who loves fashion and wants to kind of take that leap into trying something new maybe trying a different career maybe on a job that you absolutely hate at the moment and you just want to get out of it like I was I was stuck in that position at the beginning of the year really really hated my job did not enjoy it but knew I loved fashion and this course would have been perfect for me so there's currently two dates running for the course one is the 13th to the 17th of january and the next one is the 24th to the 28th of february so there's two dates already i think it's going to be kind of a monthly thing but obviously as demand goes we'll see how things go i think this would be a great course for anybody who's looking to get into fashion i think it's a great stepping stone a great leap into the unknown but a great unknown you never really know your full potential and i just think it would be a great idea and i know for a fact and I know I keep saying it but you'll be in amazing hands on the star show because they're all such lovely lovely ladies every time I've got in there they've been so welcoming so accommodating everybody I know who has been to the star show or knows Chrissy or Kate or Colette have literally just spoke absolute praise of them because they are so passionate about their job and I think that's really really important if you're passionate about it then people can tell that and get that vibe off you and absolutely like buy into it with you 
what I'll do now is I'll leave the link down below if you want to go and book on the course because it's really really important if you want to book on it then limit spaces are limited they're going to be really small groups but obviously that is a massive plus point because then you can get all your questions out and feel like you're getting the maximum from the course so i'll leave the website down below so you guys can all click on that i will also put it on my stories there is a bit of a delay with the style academy website currently so i will take you to the style show website where they'll have all the links on how to book the course the contact numbers and things like that and then i'll also put it on my stories and i'll also put the style show instagram on my stories as well so yes i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it's given you a little bit of an insight and maybe if you're looking into going into fashion and this is kind of giving you that kind of push into trying something new i'm now going to drink my tea that is probably now stone cold because i've been rambling for about a year how big is this cup of tea and i will speak to you all later